Yo, what is going on guys? Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a while since I've even touched this YouTube channel. It has been three years, or maybe even more. I mean, I look back at the videos I make and I just want to come back and here I am today. And I'm starting off with a graphics video for the new Call of Duty Vanguard. Now this game just dropped and I know most of you are eager to sit there and try these settings out and get straight into a game and see if they work for you. So before we get into this, I just want to say I'm off work with tonsillitis. So if my throat is playing up throughout this video, just honestly leave me be. Just ignore me. But you will get to see everything in this video that will increase your accuracy, improve your quality and your frames for your computer. So obviously it's not the best sort of graphic settings possible. They're not ultra but they are very good considering people can't run the game at all so that being said I know you want to jump straight into it so let's go right so getting started over on the graphics display tab you know display mode doesn't really matter um, it depends obviously whether you stream whether you record whatever you do now mine's just currently on full screen it will be changing when I'm streaming obviously depends whether you have a second monitor and you're doing things and so much more um, so anyways moving down beyond past that because people should know what display mode to play on by now we have a refresh rate you know people use 60 even though they have a better monitor I'm on 75 Hertz I'm more than happy with that so put that at the max potential to get the best gameplay out of your monitor you know improved input time less delay um, you just feel quicker in game overall everything just feels you know it just feels nicer to have more than 60 honestly for someone who's been a console player pretty much all the time it's nice to have something else that's more than 60 fps does that make sense i'm sure pretty much majority of people can back me on that it's been a huge improvement going from 60 frames to higher so um yeah v-sync isn't even a question you're just a weirdo if you have v-sync on no rule about it you have that turned off your frame rate limit i have mine on custom 260 335 doesn't doesn't matter to me put it on 300 if you want or if you have a certain sort of target you want to hit and maintain then go ahead put it on there but for me i'm leaving that on 300 so yeah aspect ratio automatic display gamma 2.2 srgb and turn focus mode off and um obviously this one's pretty basic whatever graphics card you tend to use for the game you make sure that you know that's obviously the one selected you know it's basic basic stuff everyone should know that so getting on to the main part of this video that everyone wants to see coming over to this tab now we have got our quality presets so put that on the lowest possible and um as we scroll through these you can just sit there and change them you can listen um, and have me in the background or you can just you know do it as we go and um, turn them as we talk so dynamic resolution turn that off texture resolution very low texture filtering high particle quality level medium particle resolution high bullets and impacts and sprays it's 2021 you're not seeing some kids shoot with smiley face into the floor or the walls or anything anymore just turn it off you know it doesn't help much but it's a difference every little helps especially when you're on a budget and computer am i right so shader quality is low same with the tessellation turn that straight off so here's where we get some of our quality back so you want to put the level of distance detail quality range put it on long you want to put the nearby level of detail as high and the same as distant level of detail high clutter draw distance put that on low and the same with volumetric quality level you're not sitting in the corner admiring the fog come through broken doors and broken walls and stuff you, you know just play the game get out of the corner you're sitting in get up and play the game okay so going down now we've got the uh we've got the shadows which do make quite a big impact on the game as well may i add so the screen space and shadows turn them off pretty much everything here is low so shadow map resolution low sun shadow cascades low you want to turn the cache shadows for both spot and sun on because it helps improve the rendering in future gameplays so you know it doesn't have to sit there and sort of like render in things uh, because it's new it already has that sort of memory so it helps um, 
yeah moving on everything on low here spot size of the cash low spot shadow quality low particle lighting low ambient can't pronounce that off <laughs> screen space reflection turn that off as well and um, here is the main one in my opinion I put it on quality simply because I don't see the difference between quality and ultra quality now you might you might prefer putting it on performance so you get more frames however because obviously our texture quality is on low I do like to put it on quality instead of performance so coming down now to our last two pieces we've got depth of view turn that off and we've got SMAA T2X for this I'm not going to pronounce that because I'll only just cry myself to sleep when I get it wrong VRAM usage obviously we want to target 90% so we can use more and obviously allocate more towards the game so last but not least but one of the most important tabs in the game is the gameplay tab now under field of view you have the toggle down that shows show more and you have the ADS field of view now I think by default it is on affected however turn it on independent after I go through these last little settings I will show two different clips one after the other the before and after of turning this setting to independent and believe you me if you're playing on your nan's toaster as well you will see a difference regardless of its xbox your nan's toaster computer playstation anything like i said you will see a difference in your gameplay and accuracy with this one independent feature okay so world motion blur and weapon blur just turn that off you you know you, you just you don't have that on either I don't I never do and the low latency for Nvidia I leave it on I'm not being funny yeah but the boost just seems to try too hard that it ruins the game more um, I'm sure people could probably back me on some problems with that to be fair I'm happy to just leave that on and I recommend everyone else does too um, now coming back to the main main one that I said about accuracy which will help everyone like just even if you're not looking for graphics just it will help everyone so obviously recording I'm just going to talk over these clips quickly simply because I can obviously put it detail to detail for you so for the first clip is the before that I told you that is a default setting as you can see the site sort of like pops every now and again the zoom sort of messes up and there's loads of smoke coming out the end of your gun now when you sit there and watch the second clip, I'm running up with the same gun, the same scope, the same everything. There's less pop, there's less sort of like tampering with your zoom, there's hardly any smoke, and it feels a lot more cleaner and a lot more accurate to shoot with. So honestly, I recommend turning it on. So obviously, you see the before and after clip, turn that straight on to independent if you feel like that's going to do better for you, but honestly, I really do recommend it too. Um, huge difference as you can see so yeah that is literally it now I've covered everything if this video did work for you be sure to drop a like for me like I said it's my first video back in years this is mad um, drop a sub you know dr drop me a sub drop a subscribe I was gonna say see it's like I haven't done this in so long it's just actually so funny so yeah drop us a sub if you want to watch the journey and uh, stay tuned for more to come and I, I hope this does work out for you it works for me perfectly fine and obviously I can record as well so you'll be seeing more future clips from me so like I said drop a sub prepare for the journey and buckle up because it's going to be a good one so hope you guys are having a good day evening morning where, wherever you are whatever time it is for you and I will see you in the next video peace